Hello everyone, this is Impulse and welcome back to the Hermitcraft server. How you guys doing today? I'm doing alright, I'm doing alright guys. I thought that was a really fun way to open the video. Nice time lapse for you. Just get right to it, right? I always open up with like 10 minutes of just jibba jabber. <laughs> so why not just get right to the build? But you didn't see it all. I mean, we got more work to do on it. I didn't finish. So if at the end of the time lapse you were like, ugh, that doesn't look so good, that's because it's not done. We're going to get back and we're going to finish it here in a little bit. Um, but you probably saw in the time lapse, I died. I died. I got knocked off the top of that thing. And ooh, ooh, I like the depth strider. I like the unbreaking. But I really need some feather falling. So we're going to keep making more boots. Um, yeah, you probably saw I die. I fell. I hit a block like right next to lava. And then all my stuff just kind of sprayed into the lava. And I lost a lot of it. And it was very sad. Um, so here I am. Here I am trying to gear back up. I at least got to get myself some feather falling boots because I got to get it to the top of that tower and put, get some more done on it. And we got to put in some lava, some, some fire, all that kind of cool stuff. We're going to make it look really good before the episode's over. Um, but yeah, taking care of this. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to say thanks for being here. Thanks for, for watching this video because it's been too long. And I know it's been too long. It's been like two weeks since I've released a Hermitcraft episode and that's just that's just not good guys that's not good that's that's something that uh, I never want to do ever ah, geez I cannot get a break here uh, I guess I'm just gonna keep making boots I don't know let's see do I even have that'd be funny if I just had a feather falling book I'm sure somebody does Tango probably has one it's probably just sitting in our base but that's okay uh, I'm chatting away anyway we're gonna have a chat because I owe you guys an explanation. Where have I been? What's been going on? Why haven't I had the Hermitcraft videos coming out? And, and I want to give you all my excuses, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that, guys. I'm just going to tell you. Um, I do have good reason. Just I got a full-time job outside of this YouTube thing. This is just a hobby. And my full-time job right now has been crazy. Crazy busy. Crazy busy. A, a, a guy I, I so I don't. A lot of you guys probably know. I develop software, and I got a partner in crime. Him and I develop software together for the same team, and he's moving on. He decided he's gonna move on to a different group, and now I gotta do all the work. <laughs> I gotta do. I gotta take over a lot of the stuff he was doing, and uh, now I'm I'm feeling like I'm working two two jobs full time plus the UT. I don't know. I, I can't explain it. I I just. It's been, it's been tough. I've been putting in a lot of hours, and it's just left me zero time for YouTube. Um, you know, typically I would just stay up late, but I get home at the end of the day. More projectile protection. This is garbage. Come on, give me a break, game. Give me a break. I get home at the end of the day after working so hard, and I'm just so exhausted. I can't do it. I couldn't do it. Uh, even if I did, you guys would just see this side of me that's like, completely drained and headache and just exhausted you don't want that you don't want me recording like that so so I, I just kind of didn't you know um, but here I am I, it's I'm starting to get a handle on it it's still busy still still crazy busy I'm starting to get a handle though starting to get used to it and uh, back here I wanted to do something big after we'd been gone for so long lack of videos lately I wanted to come back and do something grand and the tower on the base I wanted to get you guys a really cool time lapse which uh which I did I enjoyed doing that time lapse we got a chance to use the replay mod uh new mod out there by crushed pixel let you just kind of build and then come back and put cameras in where you want and all sorts of cool stuff and uh, those guys are great over there I, I had an issue with my replay and and they took care of it did some bug fixes and uh, made it so that kind of was able to salvage my footage, and uh, you guys got to see a, a, a hopefully excellent time lapse. So uh, anyway, so yeah, thanks guys. Thank you for being so patient. And you're probably face palming at the fact I'm just like wasting diamonds right now, <laughs> right now trying to get some feather falling boots instead of doing it the old book way. But uh, yeah, thanks guys. Really, really appreciate it. I'm going to continue trying to get some feather fallen boots here. Hopefully it happens soon. And then I'm going to meet you back over at the tower. And we're going to get that thing looking stellar before the end of the video. So, alright, be back in just a sec. 
All right, I'm not back yet. I just wanted to show you guys these boots I ended up with. It only took a couple more tries after I cut the last clip. And look at this, Fire Protection 4, which is going to be great because of how much we're working in the nether. Depth Strider, a lot. got to have Depth Strider. Anytime you hit water, you always want Depth Strider. Got I'm breaking on there, so this is last. La should last. Wow, talk. And Feather Falling 4. So, yeah, I'll take them. That, that's a bit of an upgrade from these. Uh, I, I don't even, I'm just going to leave those here. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get back to it. All right, guys, I'm back. I got the lava in, and look at this. It looks really cool. Basically, I just kind of put the lava up there and then put some blocks behind it so it would pop out a little bit, and it just kind of stops right there on top of the fence post. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I think if I updated it, it would it would flow down, but uh, yeah, that worked out perfect. I got some nether rack up there with some fires burning, try to give this thing a little bit of light, and I am all out of fire resistance potions. In fact, while I was up setting the fires on the very top, up there I got shot off by a gas and died <laughs> fell on a block just like in the time lapse pretty much the same thing happened uh oh and now I don't have anything to kill this guy with I don't have my my swords gone my new boots that I just got are gone all my armor oh geez I saved my axe and my pants that's about it <laughs> and lost my bow as you can see so hopefully no gas will come in here because I can't even shoot them but, uh, yeah, I just want to take a step back here, see if we can see this thing from back here. Oh, man, I'm loving it. You can see I went with the same building style as Tango started over here so that it wouldn't be like a mismatch thing, uh, but had to just do my own spin on it. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of got inspiration from Lord of the Rings. You guys might might recognize the uh, Mordor style going on there with the kind of four spikes coming up and the the uh, eye of Mordor in the middle you can see it's my impulse eye I thought that was pretty funny um, but yeah with the lava in I think it looks much better now and I think what we need to do Tango and I are discussing I built this room in the middle there on on my side at the same exact height same exact shape and dimensions and everything is his I think we want to put something in there uh, Potentially a ghast or something on each side. I don't I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think we could put in that little circular area there? It's a little holding cell kind of thing on both sides. Let me know in the comments. What would look good in there? Um, you know, we could put a face on it of some sort to hold something in there or some sort of design. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, right now I think the idea that Tango and I are going with is uh, ghast on each side potentially. Um, but you can see we've we've been catching mobs on our live streams as well. So we got I think I've showed you guys most of this before, but I don't know if I've showed you this guy. This this guy is a recent addition. He's pretty cool. He's a zombie villager that we got, and we saw he was carrying like a sword. So we decided we would give him some upgrades. And I got to tell you right now, I'm pretty jealous of him because he's geared up way better than I am <laughs> so I wish I could kind of take it from him but uh, I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it he's he's in there he's he's fully fully dressed <laughs> we'll leave him be um, but I think what I'll do next here guys is I kind of want to move this beacon so that it goes up through the middle there because I did leave the opening uh, inside like right right in the middle there open so I think it'd be cool I only have one beacon though so I'm gonna do mine and see how it looks with the beacon shooting out the top and hopefully we can find another beacon somewhere maybe Tango has one hidden and we can finish off uh, Tango's side some other time with it in that way it matches but uh, I want to see what it looks like with the beacon coming out and it's kind of a pain here in the nether because as you guys probably know uh, you know, there's nether rack up there on the ceiling, and we have to kind of mine that out all the way to the uh, bedrock at the top there. Oh, that was, <laughs> I was like, what was that from? Uh, so I gotta, I gotta move this whole pyramid, put the beacon in the middle, and then go up toward out the top and dig out some some of the nether rack so that it shoots through the ceiling. And then we'll step back and take a look and see see if we like it. So let me get that moved into place, and I'll cut back when I'm done. All right, here we go. Got the beacons in in both towers. Once I got mine in, I just felt the need to put the other one in for symmetry reasons. And uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to let you decide. I'm not going to tell you what I think. But you guys tell me what you think about the beacons coming through the towers. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me. 
Leave a comment. Tell me what you what you think about it. And just in general, in general, what do you think about my tower? You know, I don't want to do the whole comparison my tower versus Tango thing. Don't do that. Don't tell me which one's better and all that kind of stuff. Tell me what you think about it. Tell me what can be added or or whatever. You know, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. And uh, yeah, yeah, I I just want to hear your feedback, guys, because you know me. I am I'm not typically a builder, and this was definitely a buildy episode, but I had fun anyway. And uh, it is it is kind of short, but I have some other things I need to do, guys. It's been a while since I've done a video, and I have some patrons that still need some branch mines, and so I got to get over to the branch mines and, and dig some some more out for my patrons, because uh, they've been patiently waiting. A few of them definitely have been patiently waiting for for me to get their to their branch mine and and uh, you know see how many resources they can get me that kind of thing. So I'm gonna get on over there. We're gonna be digging some branch mines again, guys. Leave me some feedback on the towers uh, if you're not gonna stick around to see what I get out of these branch mines. And I'm, I'm actually I, I I do need it. I lost so much stuff. I'm hoping to get some diamonds today to replenish all the gear I lost. Um, but hopefully uh, I think I need to at least go get myself a new fortune pick because. Yeah, I lost that too today. So anyway, I'm going to go get geared up. We'll get over to the branch mines and we'll get, get digging, see what we get today. And I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, I am here in the branch mine. And look at this. Look at this. This hallway just seems to go on forever. It is looking really, really cool. So it's been a while since we've been down here. I haven't been doing branch mines lately. And so I want to do four today to kind of make up for it. And I got these four right here ready to go, and we're going to start digging them out. And since it's been a while, I think we're going to have to kick it with some old school music. I think you guys know what's coming. Let's do it. Here we go. <laughs> guys we are back and we are done digging out all four branch mines and I gotta tell you guys I'm feeling pretty good today I'm feeling pretty good I had a really rough time losing all my gear building that tower up I was I was really down about it and then started digging some branch mines and it made me feel all better look at this look at this we're gonna start things off here with Slade excellent patron of mine he's got 10 diamond zero lapis six gold 124 redstone and if you guys want to talk to Slade on Twitter, that's his Twitter handle right there at Slade underscore QXG. Hit him up on Twitter, guys. Follow him. He is awesome. And thank you for the 10 diamonds. Started things off right away with the diamonds. That felt really good. Moving right along here, we got Dengarian. Hopefully that's how I pronounce it. 
15 diamond, zero lapis, 12 gold, 106 redstone. And again, got a Twitter handle right there, at Dengarian. Check them out on the Twitterverse. All right, next up, we got Fraud. Zero diamonds. Unfortunately, Fraud, you were the you you broke the diamond spell here. We had diamonds, we had diamonds, and then we didn't get any diamonds. So don't worry about it. Still all good. Zero lapis, sixteen gold. This is the other thing I noticed. Got gold, gold, gold. I don't remember getting gold like so many times in a row like this. Sixteen gold, hundred and sixty-four redstone. So this one was just very redstone rich. Of course, you know I like the redstone. So thank you, Fraud, so much. And finally, we got GGWP. I think that's how you pronounce it, I guess. Uh, 12 diamonds, so good. Kept up, got back to the diamonds right away. 39 lapis, which is really good. I needed that lapis. I am really short on lapis, especially after having to re-enchant all my new gear that I had to get here. And, uh, yeah, needing lapis. <laughs> so, zero gold, 186 redstone. And GGWP has a YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description because it's one of those, I think it's like a Google Plus thing where it's got all the crazy characters or whatever in the channel name. So, you guys can click that because GGWP does Feed the Beast Infinity. So, if you guys are into some Feed the Beast action, go check them out on the YouTubes. And so, those are done. Uh, and so, before I go, guys, I wanted to tell you, show you this because I get this, I get this asked quite a bit bit and I guess I didn't show it or haven't shown it in a while but a lot of people wanted to know how I get back up after I fall down on this this big old drop right here and I have a one of these minecart dealies uh, you guys probably a lot of you probably know that monkey farm was the one that came up with this a long time ago where you get in a minecart and there's a minecart above you and you just keep right clicking sends you all the way up and that's how I get out you just shift to get out and it pops you right there and you guys can see, nighttime, my door is closed so nobody can get in, which is perfect. And, uh, yeah, got the, my drop shaft. I haven't shown this in a while, but <laughs> my psychedelic drop shaft. Uh, this place is looking good, but I think I'm going to be changing it up here soon, guys. Uh, the branch mine thing, I, I think, I, I, I'm not, uh, I don't know. I, it's getting, these are getting really long, and I'm thinking about doing something else uh, to, to reward the patrons. Some sort of patron monument of some sort, I don't know, like a gallery, I don't know. I was hoping I could do, like, patron heads, but I don't think that's going to work. You know, I was thinking, okay, I'll put on their skin and have somebody kill me or whatever, and then I'll drop their head, but I don't think that's going to work. I think it, it's based off of the username in the game, um, so I can't do that. Maybe banners, have them send me banner designs. I know some of the other hermits are doing that. That seems cool. I don't know, guys. Send me ideas because what I want to do is kind of dig out like uh, a room here and I'll move these chests and dig out a room here. And I want to have, you know, instead of doing branch mines to, to reward the patrons, I want to have like uh, some sort of monument, you know. With, we'll still put their names on the signs and shout outs to the channels and Twitters and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but I want to like make something look cool. Instead of just digging. Because I think by now, we've dug this many. You guys are probably getting sick of watching it. Watching the time lapses. And uh, to be honest, you know, I don't always need the, the materials. I did today, obviously. But uh, I don't always need to be digging branch mines. So, yeah, let's shake it up, guys. Give me ideas. Especially the patrons of mine. Give me ideas what we could do. Because I want to do something new. And uh, I think it'll be I think it'll be fun. So, anyway, guys. Like I said, I've just been running short on time lately, and that, that time lapse took me an incredible amount of time, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button for me. Let you know, let me know that the time lapse was, uh, you, you liked it, and it was worth the effort, and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be back on track making more Hermitcraft videos, getting back to at least once a week. That's my goal, guys. Hopefully I can do that with the uh, new crazy work schedule and everything, but we'll see. We'll see. No promises, but I'll do my best. I promise you that. I will do my best. But that's it for me today, guys. With that said, I will see you again next time. Have a good one, everybody.